Unless she just wanted me to stay, that's cool too. Yeah. Uh, hey Chuck, I'm kind of favor is out of the backpack. Could you give me the the little list that Rocky made? Yeah. Okay. Um, the last, the last, um, what you call it? I guess the last tour that you did was it with Jesus Lizard or was it with the Digits? Uh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, it was uh, Jesus Lizard uh -huh. and uh, this friend, well, now friends of ours. We didn't know him at the time, but uh, this band Keephone, uh, right, yeah. who is uh, Beefcake from uh, Guar. Yeah. He's wandering around somewhere. Uh, yeah. The, the question I'm gonna ask you is, okay, when and where was Pigboy started? Um, uh, Chicago, about. Uh, Boy, I would have to say, going on five years ago now, when John had just quit Naked Raygun, I had just quit my band, and we were kind of, you know, we'd known each other for a long time. We were kind of without a job. So uh, I called him, actually, to join our band, and he mentioned to me that he wanted to do something totally different. And that was right about the time I quit. So shortly after we were both out of a band, we got together, got John's brother, searched up a bass player and started jamming about five years ago. So so what band were you in before Peg Boy? Uh, I was in a local Chicago hardcore band called Bopal Stiffs. Uh, did pretty well surrounding states but never really toured that much. But it was a good time. Learned a lot from it. Okay, assuming that okay, the song I read is uh, a story about you, uh -huh. do you have a lot of other songs that are written about you personally? Probably 95% of them are. Uh, you know, it's hard for me to write about other, you know, I'm not a good poet or anything like that, so I just write about things that hit home for me. And, I, and hopefully other people can relate to them and, and apply them to themselves. I mean, it's, it's not all self-centeredness, but it's what I can write about best because it's, it's what I feel most about. Okay, when you toured with Jesus Lizard and Keepone, uh -huh. um, what did you like and not like about uh, both bands? Uh, actually, there wasn't a thing I did not like about any of them. Uh, us and Lizard go back, you know, five or six years now. Uh, Keep on, didn't really know them all that well. They turned out to be great guys. So every night was like a party. Uh, and it's good to be on the road with friends. Yeah. You know, it uh, makes things go a little smoother. So I really can't say anything bad about any of them. Maybe being hung over in the morning or something. Okay. What do you think about the punk rock scene in contrast to about 10 years ago? Uh, I think punk rock now is more of a musical style than anything. It's uh, because it's become mainstream. I think it's lost a little bit of its political edge for now. Right. Uh, Ten years ago, it was much more. Uh, it was much more of a threat to everyday, yeah. everyday life. I think eventually, it may be in another form. It may not be punk rock, but eventually, something's going to break away because uh, there's always a need for, for for certain people not to be mainstream. So whether it goes back to the old, in-your-face, violent punk rock, or what, I don't know, but something's gonna happen. It's, it's getting too tame now. Okay. So there will be an offshoot somewhere. Two more questions, and that's about it. Okay, um, where does the future hold for Pegboy? Referring to um, touring, new albums, and um, other related stuff. Well, as of now, uh, we just have plans to finish this tour. Uh, we're gonna go home and relax for maybe a month. Enjoy a little bit of our summer and then uh, put out another record and probably come out again. Great. I mean, and being on the label we're on, independent label, the only way for us to get exposure is to play, 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 play. We don't have the benefit to have uh, big money behind us and promotion and stuff. So really, if, if you want to be an independent band and, and do well on an independent label, you just got to tour. There's no way around it. And actually, two more things now. <laughs> Okay, one I was going to ask if you could do this promo right here, just um, this right here, the, the radio station promo, it's Rocky, it's punk rock show, 107.1 KWVU, if you could just do that. Okay. Say your name, and then say who you're from. Hey everybody, this is Larry from Pegboy, you're listening to Rocky's punk rock show, 107.1 dub... It's okay, don't worry about it. Hey everybody, this is Larry from Pegboy, duh. You're listening to Rocky's Punk Rock Show on 107.1 KWBU, Waco, Texas. Home and Stars. And I was going to ask if you could sign a little thing that we have written sure. for uh, some of the other bands. Sure. Thanks a lot. Larry. Thanks. What was your name? Greg. My Greg. Greg. Yeah. Larry. Yeah, you've heard of Alice Donut, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is Tom's. Tom signed this right here. <laughs> and then um, Joe Shithead from DOA. Oh yeah. Yeah, we played our first gig ever with DOA. Oh really? It was a boat cruise in uh, 
Chicago Harbor. Yeah, please. Yeah, I think we didn't even have a name back then. We were just playing cover songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we even had uh, Kevin Seconds. And Levy wouldn't let us record, but uh, we got him to sign it at least. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, just go ahead and sign it anywhere if you want. Man, I got to get pee, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, guys. You take All care, right, guys. Okay? Thanks for coming everything. out, man. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It.